gun violence increasing in Tampa. These are just some of the shootings that we have covered this year. Yeah, the problem has police and residents coming together to find solutions to stop the violence. One of them is a program targeting our teens. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell spoke to a man in East Tampa looking to provide mentorship and stability for our youngest community members. A 17 year old pulling out an AR 15 pistol to have a shootout in the street. Sadly, stories similar to this one aren't that uncommon in Tampa. That's why a few weeks ago the community pled with city leaders and officials from Tampa Police Department to bring more free programs to the area so that kids have other outlets before they fall into these dangerous lifestyles. While folks wait to see if the city will answer that call, one man is taking action on his own. When they don't have anything to do, they're going to find the wrong thing to do. Tampa native Jalen Robinson isn't the person to just sit around and talk about solutions when it comes to kids falling into violent crime. He just gets to work. And we got boys that you would label as trouble kids, but we got straight A students also. Robinson's talking about his nonprofit mentorship program called Brothers United Building Brothers Alliance, a safe haven for men and boys in Tampa, including young men like Richard Braxton. Bubba really helped me. Richard started the program as a freshman in high school, and now that he's graduated, he's working for Bubba to help with kids who may have the same challenges. I always used to run away. I used to be in the home a lot. Now, you know, I'm outside more. I work out more and it changed me. My social skills are much better and I hope everybody sees it for what You're it smiley. is. smiley. Were you smiley before? No, not at all. <laughs> now Robinson is currently working with state representatives to find more funding for Bubba because right now it just runs off of his pockets and the generosity of family and friends. Robinson says despite the negative influences targeting kids, he's still optimistic about his city. So I'm a Tampa baby, so of course I have hope for the city. Teach that youth something or come up with something to be a part of the solution instead of making complaints. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. The Tampa police say they are planning to have another community meeting at the end of the month. As for more free programs coming to the city, we're still waiting to hear back from city staff.